What's up everybody? It's Super Small Gui Wolf here. And today I wanna be talking about Pokemon Go. So this whole video is gonna be about Pokemon Go, my opinion. So if you don't like Pokemon or none of that, it's okay. You could leave the you could go watch another video of mine. And um yeah, just let you know that it's gonna be about one hundred percent Pokemon opinion like about Pokemon Go. So besides all that uh, let's get into the video. So first of all, the idea of Pokemon Go, like what do I think about it? So if you don't, let me just um, describe how it's going to be because I saw E3 press conference, uh, Miyamoto talking about it, guy translating, you know, because they were talking Japanese, I don't know Japanese. And I was kind of trying to learn it, but besides all that, um, Pokemon Go is basically you get this little bracelet, right? You put it on your wrist, and then like, it has like a little thing like that. Uh, you know the Destiny sign? I was like a uh, little like that, and then it's like that, and then it comes down like that. So it's basically, to me, it looks like a small Destiny sign with a Pokemon in the middle. So, <laughs> yo, that's, to me, honestly, it looks amazing. You know, yeah, they had. The games, yeah, you could force people, but not in this way. With Pokemon Go, it's going to be an app for Android and iPhone, if you not, did not know. So this is going to be great, I can, you know, because if, if usually the games are in Nintendo, right? Just Nintendo consoles, it's not in this one, this one. And, you know, to, for Nintendo to take this big step, because this is a big step, for Nintendo, and this is great, you know, I I see, like, you know, most of the people, they don't place on the gaming market right now, you know, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo, you know, and with the NX coming out with the new Zelda game, with the new, um, what, what are the else games they have, and all I know about the NX is Zelda is coming out, and I'm hyped up for that, and I, I'm, I'm waiting for that. Okay, so another thing is, well, that's next year, by the way. You know, so this year, you know, they they announced in, like, oh, later the year, I he I'm hearing here and there from the YouTubers, and I, I've seen, you know, the press conference, and then they saying Pokemon Go is going to be this, that. You know, you could challenge people, you could trade Pokemon, you know, if you let me explain to you how it's going to work like for example so like if you want to catch a squirtle you go nearby like lakes and ponds if you want to catch like a charizard ain't Char but charmander you know you need charmander to get a charizard eventually but or you know venusaur you need to go like land you know basically what um, the genre of Pokemon, not the genre, but the type of Pokemon. Try if you're trying to catch the type a type of Pokemon, you need to go to a specific place, like a lake for for water type, a uh, forest for like Venusaur, and I guess a park or regular is going to be a Charmander, or a Pikachu, Pikachu. So yeah. What I think this is gonna be good. I saw how the app looks like. You know, you're gonna be this character. I think you need. To, I think you could customize the character how he looks like. You could like voice people all around. You know what? What I enjoy is if you have the bracelet and you're going around, right, taking a lap, walk, one in. They also. Before I continue, you know, this is another thing they explained. They said this gets people outside more so they could, you know, go outside and participate in activities but play video games at the same time. And I think that is a smart idea. You know, so for example, you say if you like, um, you, you're bored inside, you're like, oh man, I want to go for a walk, but you know, I want to beat this level. You know, with this game, it's like you could go outside but catch Pokemon. You know, it's not just going outside and, you know, take uh, there and here. You know, it's like, you, oh, you could catch a squirrel here, or a Charmander, or um, Bulbasaur, Pikachu. So, yeah, 
talking about um another thing what I enjoy about Pokemon Go is how they set it up. So back to the character, how it looks like you know you this character you could trade, you could fight against people, the Pokemon, you know with the Android headphone, and um, it's going to come. They they didn't say that much. Like no wait wait that was before. Nah, what I was seeing, they said, yeah, you could go to any game store and get it, you know. It's not just like, oh, you need to go to a specific place to get it. You need, you could go like GameStop or Toys R Us, Target, and you could pick up it, the the little watch with the game. And I think it's going to be a downloadable code because that makes more sense. Because all I saw is it comes like that little thing, the bracelet. And yeah, what I think about this to wrap this video all up is I think this is a very smart decision, you know, very smart way to for um Nintendo to hopefully gain up and maybe one day or later on, you never know this year, uh beat maybe PS4 or Xbox. I'm not saying with Pokemon Go they're gonna beat or they're gonna be the next console or just because they want that. Nah, like this is a good start for the NX to be something more, you know what I mean? Like if they could do this, like you never know what the NX is gonna be. So that's my video. Tell me in the comments below what you think about this. Tell me if you won't get this. And tell me what's your favorite Pokemon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh yeah. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.